Bam! Hey kids, welcome back. Happy Father's Day for all of you that are like me and have little trolls from your, either your offspring. Congratulations. And I believe that Father's Day should be a day away from them because we're with them all the damn time. And what better way to celebrate than to get away from them. So anyway, <laughs> this is going to be a unique video today. I didn't really know how to attempt this. Um, one of the regrets that I have, I was talking to Wes or whoever it was the other day, and I said, you know, I've built like 400 quads or 300 quads or whatever it's been. It's been a lot. I didn't count, but that's my guess. And uh, I said, yeah, I took a lot of pictures of them, and my wife took a lot. She's a photographer. She took a lot of pictures, but yeah, pictures are one thing, but when you put a lot of skill, not maybe not skill, but um, thought and work into something it's nice to preserve it so what we're going to do uh because boats are near and dear to my heart we're going to tour the jj roto geek marina now i have quite a collection which most i don't think anybody on the planet has ever seen the entire thing and there's actually three more boats that aren't even in this video because they are a work in progress my buddy wes who is fpv fanatic he and i he helps me design and decide on colors with things and whatever else you know he he's down south and i'm up here and we we talk every day just like pete and i and all the guys that we talk so i do have like three boats that are uh one is in progress one is my father's day present to myself from my wife that will be here tomorrow that i'll be building and another one's probably a winter project so i didn't really know how to do this because i have a lot of shit. so i moved everything out into the front yard so i guess we're just going to take this after i have a shot of roto and we're going to go ahead and video this so here we go all right so here we go we're going to start at the beginning there's a few all right so this one is a vintage um Monohull outboard nitro. It's got a K and B 3.5 outboard on it. I hydro dipped the cowl, airbrushed this some of the stuff on here, and vinyl wrapped the hull. Very very cool boat. Oh mean. I was going to maiden that the other day, but it was too windy. So hopefully this week. Here's our famous huge spear of destiny to give you an idea. There's my hand. This guy's running dual ESCs, dual motors dual everything handmade solid wood from some dude in san diego here's our super saber gasser i'll tour around the back so you can see the sterns of all these things too this thing we saw kind of a half-ass break-in video the other day on uh gorgeous gorgeous boat here is neptune i actually started doing a build video on this boat this is a gasser as well huge gasser got from my buddy patrick he bought it for like 50 cents. It was a complete piece of shit off of some dude. And I painted it. I restored it. I did everything on this boat. New engine, guts, uh, airbrushed the whole hull, epoxied the whole nine yards. So that's going to be a wicked machine. We all know Rockstar, the big gasser. We did the video on the other day. This is from where my neighbor had cut the cowl to run a pipe out the back, which is really stupid. So I printed some of this. Um, there we go. Print some of that just to kind of make it look not so stupid. Here is our famous misguided that my brother Lincoln David uh, painted and vinyl wrapped and airbrushed and all that good stuff. Well, I don't think he airbrushed it, but um, this guy has got a Nitro 18 in it. Uh, great, great boat. Have not driven it yet. Here is an, ah, uh, what is this guy? That is a zip kit. That is my Miss Driftwood I built last winter. That's running an 18 Nitro engine in it. I have yet to maiden her. Um, one of my favorite boats, actually. Nice and small and just super, super tight. Right after I bought that kit, they stopped making it. Very sad. This is one of my favorite boats, and I haven't even run it yet. Um, not huge. What is this thing? 28, 29, something like that. Yeah, I completely restored this boat. It was yellow some faded color with stickers all over it nasty ass thing if you can see i airbrushed it so there is a skull that you can only see at certain angles <laughs> it's really cool in person okay that is under the paint this is a nitro boat with a what is that the name cmb race engine in it gorgeous gorgeous boat now um i painted everything on it airbrushed it epoxied put in a fuel filler on it 
uh, restored everything in an absolutely phenomenal boat. My brother Jesse found this for me. He bought it for a hundred bucks on um, uh, Facebook. And he said, hey, there's a dude on my Facebook that wants to sell a boat, nitro boat, and it's a hundred bucks, you want it? And I said, I don't even think he sent me pictures of it. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, buy it. You know, it's a hundred bucks, who cares? It has a $500 engine in it, uh, $200 worth of running hardware in the back, and a really nice haul. <laughs> it was like the steal of the year. So one of my favorite boats, I call it the Orange Crush. It's very, very cool. We've all seen the Genesis. This is the TFL. I did the quadruple cooling in. We did a very piss poor maiden on it the other day in super windy conditions and it sucked. This one is an Aquacraft. This is one I restored, not just an Aquacraft airboat. I can't remember the name of it. Um, got a nice 40 on it, nitro engine. Uh, restored it, put stickers on it, got everything up and running, runs like a champ, haven't really run it yet. I took it out to the river rent for a couple minutes one day, but that was about it. No big deal. We all know Miss Chaos. This is my FE, which stands for Fast Electric uh, Zip Kits uh, Rigger, that I burned the fuck out of the motor the other day, <laughs> but it was so fast. Fastest boat I own by no stretch of the imagination. Absolutely love her. But I smoked the motor so bad it's black and the, it smelled up my entire garage. Just absolutely awful. Um, so I replaced the motor, replaced the ESC, and we're going to run her again this week only on 4S, not 6S. So it won't be doing 120 miles an hour um, for three minutes. It will do slower, but hopefully last. Uh, the Outer Limits. This is another TFL. So this one in the Genesis are the two TFLs that I own. I love this boat. It runs really good for the first V-Haul I ever bought. Well, besides that one way down at the end. Um, very, very nice machine. I like it. It's one of the smaller boats I have, but uh, it runs really fast. It runs well. It handles the water good. Very, very good. The ever famous Miss Roto Geek. This was the first rigger I ever built last beginning of last winter something fall running a 32 dynamite nitro in it i will upgrade that engine later after i get the feel for her a little bit but hydro dipped in american flag and hydro dipped in diamond plate obviously custom made cowl uh the whole nine yards she is a gorgeous gorgeous boat i love her she's one of my favorite boats the pro boat uh ul19 anybody that watches my channel has seen me wreck this i hit a ski boat last year destroyed the front end of the pontoon i'm sorry the sponson and i fixed it uh refiberglassed it this was destroyed all the way back up to here it was just hairs coming out um, and I could have made it so you couldn't see it. My buddy Wes asked me, he's like, why didn't you fix it? So it looked absolutely perfect. And I'm like, because I wanted to remember not to be a dumbass. So I fixed it and I painted it bloody. <laughs> so, you know what? It's my boat. I don't give a shit. This is a boat that I started building last October. This is a, obviously a three-point hydro electric um, whiplash 20. This boat took me forever and a fucking day to build. I haven't built a hydro in a very, 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 very long time. And uh, it took me, I literally just got it done. You know, I would do little bits and bobs of it. it scratch build, came in a box this big. I, I would work on it for a week or so, then throw it in the box and get rid of it. And throw, do it for a week or so and throw it in a box and get rid of it. And uh, I was actually gonna burn it. <laughs> and Wes is like, no, I love that boat. But it's a gorgeous boat, turned out pretty good. I actually used a Rhino liner um, paint job on it and the airbrushed some of the, the points on here, you know. Uh, airbrushed the cowl, did the stickers, epoxy work on that. There's all the guts, quad cooling. I ran the cooling lines on the outside just to be different. Um, I think it looks pretty cool that way. So we have not tested this boat as of yet, but hopefully this week or next week. Um, honestly, it's not my favorite boat. If it runs really, really well and rides well, um, great. If it doesn't, it's going to get hung from the ceiling and I'm going to take the guts out of it and use it for something else. This is a gem that I found. Um, this is an old, probably late 80s, early, maybe early 90s, I don't know. Um, Monohull, another outboard, but this one is a big outboard. This is the K&B 7.5, very huge. I honestly didn't touch this boat, aside from, I think I might have uh, done some radio work on it on the inside and you know done a couple little things. I did not repaint it. 
I didn't do anything. I cleaned the engine really, really well, got it running, um, runs like a champ. I have not maidened it yet, but the engine's great. I bought that boat for like next to nothing. Absolutely gorgeous, pretty large boat. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, and I told my buddies, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that boat stock. I like that look, I think it's neat. All these other things we did stuff to, I love that boat. Um, and this one's another one, another outboard that uh, has a K&B 3.5 on it. And this one is a total restore. This one came with holes in it. It was yellow. It was, I don't know if it was yellow. It was some kind of ugly fucking color. It had holes all over the, the cowl, had holes in the hull. Um, I refiberglassed it, stripped it, painted it, epoxied it, and I designed a 3D printed Earl. Look at Earl. Earl's drinking Sailor Jerry's rum. So I put Earl in there. It's very, very cool. So we're going to walk around the back now, and I'll show you all the sterns of these guys, just in case you want to see. So K&B 3.5 outboard, K&B 7.5 outboard. Very, very big engine. The rear end of my Whiplash 20 running a tri-prop, which I need to change probably. <laughs> Still mud residue from where I crashed the UL-19 the other day. Outrigger rear end of Miss Roto Geek. Stern drive of the Outer Limits. Drive of Chaos. Airboat. Genesis. Ah, my orange baby. Love this boat so much. And you get the idea. Very cool. So, look at that. Very, very cool. So that is the collection. It was just the quickest way to do it. So I gotta put all this shit back. Anyway, that's it, kids. That's the JJ Marina. But like I said, there's three more, I think, but they're not done yet, so there's no point in showing them. So until then, keep showing side up. Bye. Gangnam Style. Oh, oh, oh.